These videos will make you question everything. So remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's check it out. Bro, I don't know who this lady. Bro, can you can you get out? Bro, can you get out my van, bro? Random lady just hopped in my work the, van. Bro, I don't know who the is, bro. You gonna get out, please? Can you please can you please give me a ride down the street, bro? Down the street. Bro, this, what? Bro, this, the, me, hey, this the Amazon van. I keep telling just you. Just give that, me bro. a ride down the street, bro. <laughs> Same my car, bro. But just give me a ride down the street, bro. You live like a block away. Bro, you don't even know where I stay at, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, I'm stay over here. Oh, bro, what time is it, bro? It's 10 o'clock. I gotta be back at the station. Okay, and this your work address? Nah, yeah, I don't live at the job, though, bro. Okay, okay. Well, give me a ride down the street, then. What you been drinking, man? Nothing. You been drinking something. I been drinking nothing. So, so you just said you were drunk? But no, I'm over here. You gotta go, bro. Come on now. Get Come out. on, man. Hey, you my Come phone. on now. I gotta, gotta, gotta. Come on, man. I'm trying to go home too. Come on, me too. No, um, no, I ain't gonna do it. I'm trying to go home. Like, I'm trying to go home. I'm trying to go home, home, home. I'm home. trying to go home, but listen, I'm trying to go to the house, bro. You need to get out of the bed. I'm trying to do it. Okay. Come on, let's go then. Go where? To my house, there. Now. No, I'm, I'm talking about my house, not yours. Yours. You yours. Oh, you definitely can't go there. Yeah, your house too. Nah, I think I think police gonna be in here in a few minutes. Bro. Well, let the police be in here. Then. You know, I called the police like ten minutes ago. Five, got, nah, ten minutes ago for real. And then nobody pulled up. Okay, come on. That's why I tell you, go ahead, and leave this. Shit. Go ahead, go that way. You might want to work at Amazon, son. Cause you in the van, you don't even work for Amazon. What you doing, bruh? You don't even work, bruh. You in, the, in my van, bro. I'm talking to you right now. I'm telling you, drop me off down the street. Bro, I stay talking about right there. there. I done said the same. Like, I, can't I drop. stay right there on Buffington Road. Oh, that, 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 don't, hey, that don't fault. Hey, you might be through. I'm going to shut the door for you. Bro. Oh, snap. He had really called the police, bro. I couldn't really tell if this was him playing around or not. The way she was saying, bro, was killing me, bro. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't hold it in, fam. Where is this at? Let me read it. It said, bro, where she, where she come from? Only in ATL. Wow, it's terrible here, y'all. I keep telling y'all, man. <laughs> and everybody be wanting to come to ATL for some reason, bro. It's bad here. Bro, just walked up, and she's in his vehicle now. Now. What's crazy is about, I don't know if y'all picked up on it or caught it. She said, he, no, he said, I keep telling you this, bro. So I don't know if this is his, it sounds like to me, this isn't his first interaction with her. You know what I mean? Y'all take that for what it is. I don't know, but this is crazy. So wait, wait, wait. Am, am, am I tipping myself? That's mean I get a two dollar discount for doing the work for some for somebody else. So explain tip what? Tip who? Yo, we no nah, no nah, things is messed up these days, bro. We gotta get back on track. Things is we're we're down bad, bro. No, ain't no way. That that low key that low key got me hot. I, I, that kind of pissed me off a little bit. I can't even lie to y'all. <laughs> they had the nerve to ask for a tip. As much taxes as we pay, we should be getting tipped. Only in New York City, everyone be minding their own business like this. <laughs> <laughs> Only in New York City, everyone be minding their own. He tweaking. And what's crazy is this is normal. You know how you know it's normal? Look at everybody on the train. It has not bothered them a bit at all. 
Buddy in a green jacket looked like he pretty much sleep with his headphones in. This is normal. It started as a simple question from one of America's most beloved characters, Elmo, taking to X to ask, how's everybody doing? With nearly 200 million views and tens of thousands of replies, the earnest question unleashed an avalanche of responses from so many dealing with difficult issues. Men and women from all over writing in with statements like, Elmo, I'm suffering from existential dread over here. And every Monday, I cannot wait for Friday to come every single day and every single week for life. Fresh off a heartbreaking lion's loss, the Detroit Free Press speaking for many, saying, we've been better. Rapper and singer T-Pain adding, I'm just looking for somebody to talk to and show me some love, if you know what I mean. Even President Biden weighing in, saying, I know how hard it is some days to sweep the clouds away and get to sunnier days. After the high volume right of responses, that. Sesame Street's official account shared a link for those looking for help with their mental health. This is the song, la 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 la, Elmo's song. Elmo not shying away from his new role as America's therapist, later writing, wow, Elmo is glad he asked. Elmo learned that it is important to ask a friend how they are doing. Elmo will check in again soon, friends. Elmo loves you. Hashtag emotional well-being. It started as a simple... That just goes to show you the state of everyone's mental health. It's bad out here right now, fam. Bad. And you can gauge it. Probably go look up under that post if you can find it. If it's still up. And probably look at all the problems and issues people are having. This is crazy. And, and come on, Biden. We know you ain't right that. Stop. Breaking news. They have now released the toxicology results for the three men found mysteriously frozen in their friend's backyard. After Jordan, the man who hosted the party, checked himself into rehab yesterday, it has been speculated that a major contributing factor to their deaths was illicit drugs. Now the toxicology results have been released to the families and they said there were, quote, several substances found in the men's systems. The initial toxicology information oh. on the three men suggested traces of cocaine, THC, oh. and fentanyl. A family member of one of the victims said that one of the men tested level 30 for fentanyl, 30. triple the amount needed to take their life. Experts have said they believe that the alcohol and the drug could have caused the men to pass out in the snow and succumb to the 30 degree weather. As you may remember, Jordan hosted a Kansas City Chiefs watch party where the three men attended. However, they went missing for two days and Jordan says he did not realize that they were deceased in his backyard. After one of the fiancés of one of the victims located him, she immediately called authorities. When authorities arrived, Jordan answered the door in his boxers as well as holding a wine glass. It was then that he explained to authorities he was sleeping for the last two days. Jordan is also a scientist and a chemist. Take? Sources have revealed that he had been creating his own drugs since high school. To stay up to date on this case, make sure you click the playlist below. I'll keep you guys... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they def it's, it's definitely finna be pinned on him now. You just, you just pretty much confessed. They took your substances, and they're no longer here anymore. Isn't he gonna be found liable for that? Man, this is insane. The amounts they had in their system. I knew it had to be something. Three people outside in the cold just pass out. Yeah, yeah. This this story, it, each day we get some new information and each day it gets crazier and crazier. A fire suppression system accidentally went off today, releasing foam all over United Airlines hangar at Houston's Bush Airport. Officials say the foam is biodegradable and free of those so-called forever chemicals. No one was in the hangar when it happened. A fire suppression system accidentally... Biodegradable? You better make sure and be sure. I thought some of that stuff was like cancer causing with that foam and stuff. Hey, they better be for sure, for sure. Even if, I don't care, I wouldn't take their word for it anyway. You tell me that, I'm going to get myself a second opinion to make sure each year that I stay on top of that. Elmo, were you surprised by all of the responses? And why do you think this simple question coming from you, Elmo, resonated with so many human beings and adults. You know, Elmo's not really sure. Elmo was surprised because Elmo didn't realize that when you ask someone how they're doing, you have to be ready because maybe someone's not doing well or maybe somebody is. But uh, it's an important question to ask and um, Elmo's learned a lot about that. Yeah. Well, Elmo, when
when you're feeling down, what, what helps you uh, feel a little brighter? You know, one of the things that, that you were just talking about was belly breathing, which is a really important strategy. That's a big word that Elmo just learned. <laughs> a strategy, and it's belly breathing. So what you do is you put your hands on your belly, and you breathe in through your nose like this, and then you breathe out through your mouth slowly like this. <sighs> And that really helps to make you feel calm and, and sort of get okay. centered and relaxed. Elmo, were you surprised by... I ain't gonna lie, it's crazy to know that after all these years, Elmo is still out here making people feel better. And you gotta realize, some of the people today, they grew up with Elmo. So to see him come back like this and, and do this is probably super uplifting for people. It's crazy that... Elmo still has that type of impact. 10 seconds to try to tell us what's up there. Good luck. Something orchid. Hi, pet. Oh, pony orchid. You might have been overthinking, thinking of a type of orchid. Ping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> sorry that didn't work out for you. It's something orchid. She said. Uh, you know, I, thought she, oh, the, 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 I thought she said it, bro. I thought I, I know my mind wasn't playing tricks on me. That divided, the anchor desk divided, everything is divided. Oh. But yeah, one person who wrote in, there's no question, she absolutely said pink orchid um, and give this girl her winnings. Well, another person shared that they rewound it 14 times. <laughs> I guess they were having a slow day and had time. And finally decided Megan said something orchid. Well, what do you what do you two think? I'm curious. You're I, I have no idea what she I said heard in the pink. first. I don't know whether it was pink or not, but she did kind of take it back. She didn't fully commit to the, <laughs> the, the beginning of it. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I thought I heard. I heard. I didn't hear something. I heard pink. I, I thought I heard pink too. I closed my eyes. Okay. And that's what I heard. But you know, we got the ultimate referee joining us. <laughs> Exclusively for our GMA viewers, the <laughs> ultimate referee who can give us the answer is Megan Carvel herself. So, Megan, thank you for being with us this morning. And for the history books and for the sake of this desk, <laughs> what did you say? You know, I wish I said pink because I would have been $40,000 richer, <laughs> but I said something. Oh. Said, oh, something. oh, I didn't hear the something. But something. I, I mean, but what do you think? It's something all this attention that you're receiving, Megan, about it. How do you feel about that? You know what, it's funny because going on to the show, I was so excited to be a part of it, and I was so bummed that I lost the bonus <laughs> round. And even just watching it back and thinking, okay, I just have to get through it, watch it once. And then I wake up yesterday and it's all over headlines <laughs> and everybody's talking about the bonus round and I'm reliving this loss. Um, but it's, you know what, at least it's I thought positive she said attention. It. it could have been people making fun of me that I didn't get it right, so. No, no. Well, and good good for you for being yeah. so honest about yeah. it. But I think your family wanted the $40,000. They said they were paying. <laughs> Yeah, of course they did. <laughs> How did you convince them? My, in fact, my, my son, the entire way home, because my eight-year-old son was in the audience with me and the whole way home from, because we live in Orange County, the whole way home from L.A., Mom, I can't believe you didn't get pink. I can't believe you didn't get pink. <laughs> that word has already been haunting me, uh, and now all of America believes that I said it, but uh, I didn't. You, uh, you are such a great sport about yes, this. Please. Thank you for your positivity. Really? And I'm, I hope you had a great time on the show nonetheless. Thank you. I had a blast. Good. Good for you. A lesson here for mm -hmm. all of us. You Honestly. know what? Yeah. 10 seconds. That's that pressure, man. <laughs> she had a lot of pressure on her. That pressure on you and you thinking about the money? Yeah, that's that's what it was, bro. Even me, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking pink orchid. Nah, that can't be that. I'm thinking that in my mind. I didn't say it out loud, but I'm thinking that. Did you guys hear about Darius Rucker getting arrested this morning, February 1st, on three separate DRUG charges? If you don't know who he is, he's that singer. He started off with Hootie and the Blowfish back in like the 90s, and then he went solo. He sings Wagon Wheel, you know? Rock me mama like a wagon wheel. Rock me mama any way you feel. Hey, mama rock, rock me. me. That's right. Hmm. According to reports, he was charged with simple possession, casual exchange, and violation of registration law. He was released on a $10,500 bond.
Now, according to his team, these are just misdemeanor charges, and he has been fully cooperative with authorities. He's supposed to hit the road this summer. He's got a tour that I actually would love to go to. I, I like the guy. I don't know what he was messing around with or what he was doing. There haven't really been a lot of details released, but I wouldn't think that these charges would affect his tour in any way, especially since they're just misdemeanors. But that's obviously not my field, so who knows? Did you guys hear about Darius? That still gets me. Like, with it being legal in so many places, you know what I mean? I guess the place he was in it, it wasn't legal, but um, that still gets me. You know, but no, nobody ain't gonna look at him any different. They still gonna love his music and they're still gonna go to his show when he goes out on tour. So yeah, nothing changes. Breaking Disney news. Sometimes it amazes me what guests actually do. A guest jumped or fell off of a Tom Sawyer's Island raft and then refused to swim ashore. This photo is from a Facebook group, but let's talk a little bit about what could happen if you're in the water of the rivers of America. So first of all, we have the Tom Sawyer's Island rafts and the Liberty Square River boat. And while these are trained cast members to make sure that the boat doesn't hit the rafts and vice versa, there is a risk of it, and this person could have been hit by the Liberty Square River boat. But much more significantly than that, we should pretty much assume that every body of water in Florida has alligators. Yes. While Disney does remove a lot of alligators from their property, there was an incident several years back where a child unfortunately died from an alligator on the shores of the Seven Seas Lagoon. You never know what could be in the water. Disney has signs posted on all of their beaches, and here guests are certainly not supposed to go in there. At Disneyland in 1973 and 1983, there are actually two guests who drowned in the rivers of America. They were separate instances and both very tragic, but they did happen and there is that risk. You also put other guests and other cast members at risk by pulling crazy right. stunts like this. If you want to go swimming at Disney, my recommendation is the beach and the yacht club pool. That is my favorite. The water parks are also really fun, but this do not recommend. Breaking Disney news. So let me get this straight, right? Y'all remember, if you've ever been to Disney, it's rather expensive, right? Very, very, very costly. You know what I mean? Nice little chunk out your bank account. So you you pay that money to get in there just to get kicked out? Probably place uh, your picture taken, put on the wall, and never be allowed back in again? That's what you want to do, huh? I, I, don't, I don't understand the thought process <laughs> Of, of what this person was thinking. Uh, not at all. An army contractor in Fairbanks, Alaska stole over $100,000 from the army. Here's how. Kevin Mahler just pleaded guilty for his actions from 2016 and 2021. What did he do? I'll tell you. Over the course of those five years, he received over $100,000 in kickbacks from a commercial flooring company in Fairbanks, Alaska. But how did he do that? I'll tell you. Him and Benjamin McCulloch, the owner of the company, overinflated prices for the army. They were making sure that Fort Wainwright was paying way too much money for this flooring. The list of things that Kevin Mahler received. Cash, Apple watches, televisions, workout equipment, an ATV, and a 1997 Ford Explorer. I'm not gonna lie, that's a very odd request. How did they get caught? The IRS and the FBI got tipped off and caught these guys. This is why we can't have anything nice in Fairbanks or the army, right here. Fairbanks literally just got a Costco a few years ago, man, come on. So what kind of punishment is Mahler facing? I'll tell you. He's facing up to 10 years in prison and a $250,000 fine on top of that. I have two things to say. One, follow me, please. And two, considering everything you heard, do you think 10 years in prison and a $250,000 fine is enough, too much, or just right? Let me know in the comments. An army contractor in- Listen, fam, if y'all don't know nothing else, stop playing with the army, stop playing with the military, stop playing with the IRS. Leave them alone. Stop. Why? You shouldn't be out here scamming anyway. But leave them alone, especially that IRS. Crazy thing I heard today. All the people that took out all those PPP loans. Oh. Bro, they still coming for you. They sending out letters to this day. People are still receiving letters. I don't know why y'all thought you was just going to be able to get forgiveness like the other ones did. No, they coming. Be prepared. Hope you still got that bread. Breaking news. <laughs> this is the step right. Breaking news out of New York City, Indianapolis. This is footage of the scene after a person unfortunately drove off the fishing pier in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Pause to read. Please get help before...
Breaking news in Baltimore Reporter. Breaking news, Baltimore Marauders. We have an out. Breaking news. Breaking news is taking Vicky to a new spot tonight. Oh my god. Breaking game. I'm breaking news. Me? Breaking news nearly. Good morning, people. People that live in Florida. The sheriff said to arm. What's going on out here? What's going on out here? This is. What's going on out here? What's going on out here? I don't think this girl knows that I'm in my car right now. I think she's filming a TikTok on my car. Uh, first off, what what kind of TikTok is this? I don't think this girl knows that. Remember, say they. What's going? Let's go, Queen. All right, serious question for Florida people: Why do all y'all got this weird fence? around your backyard. What's happening is your, you know, fellow. Not this voice. What's going on? What's going on? Did you see it when you What's going on? What's going on? Rainy California, where one atmospheric river leads to another. The first of two storm systems is drenching the west coast. Heavy rains and high winds have already triggered rock slides and flooded roads, trapping people in their cars. The second storm, coming in days, is expected to be even more powerful. Our Carter Evans Jeez. reports from Long Beach, California. Dramatic rescues today in Southern California as floodwaters rushed in. Hey, the boat's in the water. They're coming. A Swiftwater rescue team saved this man trapped under a bridge in Orange County. And in Long Beach, drivers needed help getting to dry land after their cars Ooh. wound up submerged up to their roofs. This area, just south of Los Angeles, received nearly a month's worth of rain in just 12 hours. I've been living here for like three years. I've never seen it like this. In LA, winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour downed trees and torrential downpours made for a dangerous morning commute. The storm slammed Northern California first, knocking down trees and flooding streets, along with nearby vineyards where up to three inches of rain fell. I'm Elise Preston here in Northern California's wine country, where crews have closed off roads, keeping drivers away from floodwaters. Like here in Sonoma County, where the incessant storm washed out a road, stranding a driver and forcing this overnight water rescue. Across the area, the pounding rain had nowhere to go. Several wineries are underwater today after the Russian River swelled and overflowed. Back in Southern California, at higher elevations, the powerful storm is good news for skiers. But with up to two feet of fresh powder expected in the mountains, this bald eagle is hunkered down in her nest, keeping her eggs warm. Goodness. And behind me right now, workers are trying to pump out all this water so authorities can eventually reopen the road again. Now, we've got another round of heavy rain coming in early Sunday. It's going to hit right about the time of the Grammys, and that can make for a soggy red carpet. John? Carter, other than the, the red carpet, what's, what are some of the other big threats uh, for both of these weather events where you are? So we got so much rain today. You know, some areas got three uh, up to five inches of rain. The ground Ooh. is saturated right now. And then we're going to have a little bit of break, but not enough time for, for the ground to dry out to the degree that it needs to. And then we are going to get a much bigger storm on Sunday. So the concern is landslides, mm. landslides and debris flows. And they're trying to identify those danger areas right now. Carter Evans in Long Beach, California. Thanks so much, Carter. For more, let's bring in our senior weather producer, David Parkinson. David, remind me, because I always forget what an atmospheric river is and why it's causing such mayhem. Yeah, so atmospheric rivers are what we like to call rivers of water in the sky. So when we talk about having, you know, the amount of water that's in 25,000 Mississippi rivers, here it is. It's these giant moisture streams. So this is what you've got. It's all moving in here Ooh. to California. This is the current projection. But the I don't know what that is, but and he tried to explain it, but I don't know what that is, but it looks bad. 
The reason we're so concerned about the next one is this is the next atmospheric river, and what you'll notice is we have what we used to call and can still call a pineapple express. So it begins, the moisture begins all the way back here by the big island of Hawaii, and it makes its way all the way to California. It's a direct connection, so it's a fire hose of moisture aimed directly at the Golden State. It begins Saturday night, Sunday morning, and it doesn't let up for most of the week, John. Oof. Okay, so and so this is unique to that area. It's not just. Um, so, do they just have atmospheric rivers on the west coast, or can they happen anywhere? Yeah, you can have it anywhere. Uh, we had an atmospheric river type event uh, that also happened in the Gulf. Uh, we'll get some of those as well. And we had one in the East Coast a couple weeks ago, actually. But the interesting thing to note with these storms is this is where California gets at least half of its rainfall for the year from these atmospheric river events. So we've got a nice calming going on Friday into Saturday, maybe some Grammys parties. But <laughs> there's that pesky atmospheric river starting to move its way in Saturday morning, afternoon, evening. And then now it's really overtaking. This is some Sunday midday, and look at the pouring rain from uh, Goleta up to uh, San Luis Obispo, and then down through all of Southern California, hey, and then watch the fire and the moisture just more. keep going and going and going all the way through. By the way, we've got this big thing called the Super Bowl coming up next weekend, and we're actually, as we do CBS mornings from uh, Las Vegas, got a little bit of rain, maybe even a little snow in the mountains outside of there. But the real concern, and this is no joking matter, everyone, take a look at how much rain that we're having. This is not an amount of rain that Southern California can handle. It's really not an amount of rain that anywhere can handle, but we are looking at least nine inches of rain, particularly in the Santa Barbara area over into Ventura County. But I've even got the potential for eight, nine inches of rain down here in Los Angeles proper. You'll certainly see it in the foothills up into places like Mulholland Drive. That's where you'll see some rock slides. The good news, John, is we had so much rain last year that vegetation's been allowed to regrow. So we don't have as many burn scar issues because the top layer of soil isn't gonna just immediately slip down, but the ground is still gonna be saturated. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna go skiing in the Sierra, uh, that's at least six feet of snow in Mammoth. Book your plane tickets now, David Parkinson. Thank you. No problem. Dang, y'all be safe out there if y'all partying for the Grammys. And this is going to suck if we get a rainy Super Bowl, man. That, yeah, nobody wants to see that. I don't think that stadium is a dome either. Yeah, that's going to suck, man. Either way, you know what I mean? But uh, y'all can add me in the comment section, man. Let me know what you thought of these videos, bro. Crazy. Next one, I'm gone.